Yo, I don't know if Keith Murray smoked some good stuff or smoked some of that bad stuff, but the Joker smoked somebody's stuff somewhere along the line. I don't remember Keith Murray being like this back in the day. But then again, we didn't see, I didn't see too many interviews from him back then, so maybe he always been like how he is. But this Joker just come out the woodwork with just stories, you know what I'm saying? And first of all, the whole LOD thing, the LOD squad. I almost forgot about that whole thing. I, didn't th I haven't th heard that name in years, the LOD squad. And yeah, obviously me, my name's L.O., but that's my real name. You know what I mean? Like when I thought I was a rapper, trying to be a rapper, I remember people bringing that up here and there. L.O.D. is my real name, not these jokers. I'm not, it's not a diss, I'm just saying. I call myself that because that's my name. You know what I'm saying? So let's just get that all squared away before we say anything else. But we already heard him come out about Foxy. Then he said something about the chick Shauna, talking about how he was eating her booty. And, Fo and why is he walking around eating all this booty? Yo, that's what I'm not understanding. Like, that's uh, I, I don't understand that. You know, in telling these stories, which is kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? He hopping around like a kangaroo on the art of dialogue, telling the story. Then I, after watching that one, I didn't even see when he did on Queen's Flip. That came as it came up, so I watched that one. So he been kind of like all over the place, bugging a little bit. So I don't know if this Joker, I don't know what he's on, but now what he's saying, this news one I just seen, he talking about Suge Knight, Smack Puffy. Now, did I miss this? Was this like always public information and I just happened to miss it? I never heard this before, you know what I'm saying? But this joke was saying he was there. Then he had the nerve right after he said how Suge smacked Puffy to turn around and ask Puffy for his publishing. Because Puffy bought his publishing years ago for, I'm not sure if it's just a song or all together for $5,000 or whatever. But right after he told the story about get, Puffy getting smacked, he turned around and, and said he wanted to get his publishing. You should know, like... These entertainers, famous people, people with money are the most sensitive people on a goddamn planet. You say one little weird thing about them, they're not going to, you know what I'm saying, try to work with you or do something that's going to make you, make your life better. Like, there's no way you can sit there and tell a story about Puffy getting smacked, especially if this is like new information, then turn around and ask for your publisher. He's, you should already know that's not going to happen. But one thing he could do, if he's trying to do, is build himself up as an internet type of person you know what i'm saying like a charleston white type of dude like one of them type of dudes but he's gonna end up burning himself out telling all these stories and platforms if he might as well put all this on his own platform or something you know what i'm saying like i don't know but i don't know if what happened to keith murray man like something's going on with this dude something real weird there and then he's he's showing up like tk kirkland now like being everywhere he was at the biggie when Biggie got killed, he was there with him the day before. He said he was at the Puffy and uh, this dude with Wolf and all them. He's saying mad places that he's been in history that I have never heard before. I'm not saying he's lying, you know what I'm saying? But um, this Joker is just coming out. He's doing some other stuff.